Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at Makan Mania. This is a real-time game with dice rolling for 2-6 players. Makan Mania is one of the latest board game releases in 2024. The game is designed by Steve and G. Wen Shi, illustrated by Regina Ariella Elvina, Anne's Art, and is published by Capital Game Studio. It's lunchtime, and the players are hungry. In the game, the players roll their dice and try to chow down on some grub. Don't forget your refreshing drinks. So beat the rush hour and get your munchies. The player who had the most to eat and drink, also known as the player with the most points at the end of the game, is the winner. This is a real-time game with dice rolling. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. The game lasts for 5 rounds and in each round, each round is divided into 2 phases. The players start out with 3 dice and 1 card tray each, all in their chosen player color. The players set up the game as displayed here. Each round is divided into 2 phases which are the rush phase and the queue phase. Let's take a closer look at each phase separately. The rush hour phase. In this phase, the players simultaneously roll their dice and try to match the icons of the food cards with their rolled dice. Each food card requires a certain set of dice faces. The players have to match these icons with their dice, although they'd have to get it from one roll and they can't just partially pay for those cards. Once the player is done rolling or when the player chooses to stop rolling, they simply place their unused dice, if any, on their tray and proceed to place their tray onto a vacant table. Once all players but one have finished rolling, that last player has to stop rolling their dice, collect any food cards if they can, and proceed to place their unused dice, if any, on their tray and then place their tray on the last vacant table. The queue phase. In this phase, the players first collect the benefit of the table, either gain coins, discount on drinks, or an extra die for the next round. After that, each player may purchase any amount of drinks if, any, if available. The amount of drinks in each round are limited. Turn order in this phase is based on lowest table number. So the player who got the lowest table number starts first, followed by the next player with the lowest table number, and so on. Each drink costs either a certain amount of coins or a certain number of dice. The players have to spend the requirement in order to get the, that drink. This continues up until either all players take a turn or all drinks are gone. Then the round ends. After the two phases are done, the players discard all food and drink cards if any remain in the play area, refresh the play area with the same amount of food and drink cards as the initial setup. Then a new round begins. Notes: Each drink card offers some sort of benefit like endgame bonuses, discount on future purchased drinks, gain coins when certain conditions are met, etc. If any die or dice are left over and unused once the queue phase is over, each dial will gain that player a single coin. Each different color tray has a different ability. The players play for a total of 5 rounds, and once that is done, they proceed to final scoring. Final scoring. The players count the points on their food cards, the drink cards if any. Each value one coin is worth one single point. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Makan Mini is a real-time game with dice rolling. The game is designed by Steve Ng Wen Shi, illustrated by Regina Ariella Elvina, Ansi Art, and is published by Capital Game Studio. The game can be played by 2-6 players. I love the theme and setting. Lunchtime is always super busy. Establishments are filled and crowded with many people. What I really enjoyed is that the gameplay and the use of the real-time mechanic went hand in hand with the theme. Real-time is always hectic just as the lunchtime rush. The artwork was super cute. It was illustrated by the same artist that worked on games such as Happy Dim Sum, Singapore 1889 and other games. I enjoyed all the different illustrations and the use of colors for all of the components in this game, including the game box. The iconography used on the designated components was also very well done and easy to read. The components used were standard. The game box included a basic insert and all of the components fit snugly inside. 
The gameplay is wild and chaotic. All the players are rushing to get all the good and high value dishes. Although the tables are really considered important real estate in any establishment during the lunchtime rush. So it might be more strategic to get a low number table to get dibs on those refreshing drinks. The choice is yours. The game is very fast paced, super easy to learn and teach, plays great at all player counts, and typically takes around 20 minutes to play. Overall, Makan Mania was a wild and chaotic game that I had a blast playing. The meals are hot, the drinks are refreshing, and I honestly can't wait to beat the lunchtime rush again. The game is very enjoyable, light-hearted, and just good quality time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care, and until the next one, peace.